find the quotient of this polynomial. Let's go ahead and solve the question. We ask to find the quotient. Now, when you have the word quotient, it, it implies division. Just like in differentiation and calculus, when you talk about we have what we call quotient to that's when derivative involves division. So when you have quotient generally in, in mathematics, it's talking about division. So find the quotient of this. So the two is stored here is still effective. All it's simply have to do is to use the division sign, guys. Don't go and use this one. Don't use this one, guys. I mean, you should don't go and use this one. Don't use this one. Use this one. This one is a precise one. You should use for it. So let's impute the polynomial for the numerator. We have to x raised to power 3. Okay, come down plus 3x alpha x square. Okay, plus 4x alpha x plus what again? 3. So divide by this check. We have x alpha x plus 1. Okay. So let's press the course and see what we're going to have. Now, okay, let's press button. We have 13, guys. We have 13. Now, I want you to take note of some terms. In this division of polynomials, this number we got is what is called the quotient. These numerator values, they are called the dividend. Where are the denominator values? They are called the divisors. So that means this result, that is the quotient, numerator, dividend, then denominator is what? Divisor. So we have 13. So right now, let's check, let's simplify the option. Anyway, it gives us 13 it will be the answer, guys. Very, very simple. Now, let's check option A. We have the 2x alpha x square plus x alpha x plus 3. Let's see. 13. So, guys, the answer is what? Option A. But let's see, check option B. Let's put 2 here. Let's put 2 here and put 4 here. 4 here. 20. So, so answer is option A. So, guys, but let me let me show you something now. If we are to use this this pattern and see if we have the same results. So let's sorry, we have cube two s cube. Okay, come down. We have plus three x square. Plus three square plus four x. Okay, plus three. Now let's use the division and see if we have something the same results. You see, guys, you have something next. That's why I say you should not use this pattern. If you use it, you will get the wrong value. So when it comes to questions, don't make use of this division. Use this button for it. Very important, guys. Don't go and make such a necessary mistake. That is for question. Well, lastly, let's look at the remainder upon division. That's question four. It says the remainder upon division of this polynomial by 1 minus 7x is what? So, guys, if we closely, I outline some things here for you guys to assist your understanding very, very well. So, now, when you have this kind of remainder question, the first thing you have to do is the number, the value, like dividing the polynomial, like here, 1 minus 3x, and the value dividing the polynomial, you equate it to 0, like I have here, solution, 1 minus 7 equals 0. When you equate it to 0, you then make x the change of subject formula. So when you make x the change of subject formula here, this minus, this one, what that will cause the quality sign, I will change to minus 1. So you divide both sides by minus 7, the coefficient to minus 7, 
of x here, that's minus 7. Minus 7x seven here, the equation of x here is minus 7. When you divide it by the quotient of x here, that's, you will be left with x will give you equals to minus 1 over minus 7. So, minus will cancel each other. So, you have the value to be 1 over 1, guys. So, so since we have the value of x to be 1 over 7 from the change of solid formula here, we go ahead and store this number. It's as simple as that, guys. 1 over 7. To store it, we press. Okay, I see. Very important. Before you store, let's clear. So that's because we want to store, sorry, we want to store a fresh number. Let's press shift button 9 to the instruction. So we clear. So let's go ahead and, solve and store 1 over 7. Very important, guys. Clear so that you be at the safe side. So we have stored one over seven now after clearing. So we move the two we stored before. So let's go ahead and now and install this polynomial. So in put seven, we have alpha x x raised to the power of four. Okay. Minus alpha x raised to power theory. Okay, guys. Okay, minus 14x alpha x plus 2. Okay, guys, so that's it. Now, once you are done, you press the code and you see your answer. You show what the answer will be 0. The, the option is option B. So the answer is what 0. It's as simple as that, guys. So Basically, we have looked at how to solve quotients of polynomials and we looked at the remainder of a polynomial upon division. So, guys, I hope you learned something very interesting. Even if you don't want to use calculator, it can help you to verify your answer if you are showing or working in whatever you are doing or if you are solving a particular problem. So, guys, with this, I'll come to the end of the class. I hope you learned something interesting for this video if you are new to the channel make sure you the subscribe button for more videos like this also like share and comment on this video tell me how you feel from what i've learned from this class if you seem to have any specific questions to ask feel free to be a question in the comment section below and i'll be sure to give you a response thanks for watching i will see you in my subsequent video